Hey, and welcome to this tutorial on what to do with your wireframes once you've rendered them out. I'm not going to cover the creation of these wireframes because I've already got videos which cover the topic, but if you haven't already, I do recommend you checking out our wireframe play blaster for some fast results. It's currently 50% off over on Flip Normals for their Black Friday sale, and you can find a link in the video's description. When you launch the tool, this is going to be the interface that you will see. Just enable wireframe mode so we can make some adjustments in real time. I only want one frame, so I'm just going to change the range so it starts at one and ends at one. We could go ahead and change some of these colors and get some proper funky effects. But for this example, I will be showing you how to achieve endless results with only a black and white wireframe. So before we go ahead and create the wireframe play blast, all we need to do is just select the destination. And then we're good to go and hit the play blast button. For a much more detailed look at the tool, check out the launch video. There's also a link to it in the description. Okay, cool. So once you've opened up Photoshop or your compositor of choice, a simple way to overlay this wireframe is to set the blend mode to screen. And now you have a nice white wireframe overlay. Something else we can do is create a cool vertex effect. It's really simple to do. Head up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You don't want to go too extreme. I'll probably just use something like 0.08 or something. But you may just need to play around a little bit yourself. Once you've done that, if we go ahead and apply a levels to this layer, adjustments, levels, and we can just alt click this layer so that it's only applied to the layer below. And we can just clamp a little bit like this. Just notice how we start to get these dots where all the lines overlap, which kind of looks like vertex dots. I mean, it's not 100% and it doesn't look that great, but it also doesn't look quite as bad as a fart smells. Finally, what if you don't want white lines? Let's just go ahead and delete these uh, levels adjustments and just get back to our freshly imported wireframe. Next, you're going to want to create a new layer and we can just fill it with any color or gradient. I guess it could even be an image, it really doesn't matter. Using the marquee tool, just select the wireframe layer and hit Control C to copy the contents. Add a mask to our new filled layer we just made. And you're going to want to press Alt and click on that mask. And using Control V, we can just paste this wireframe into our mask. And just Alt click on the layer to get out of that mode. And of course, we can change it to anything we want. For example, we can change the color on the fly like so. Or we can even apply a gradient if you want to do so. If you haven't already, remember to check out our wireframe play blaster over on Flip Normals or on my Gumroad page. Anyways, I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.